Hello, nice to see you again. And if you saw my video the other day about Photo Director 8, this is a quick overview, just following up on that, just to show you some more features. So it's a brilliant step up from something like Picasa. I've never used anything like Adobe Lightroom or anything like that. I've only ever used Picasa. And this is a great step up. Lots of similar features in that it's a photo library management system, but it has loads of adjustments and edits that you can do to photos to get them looking as good as possible. I'm just going to whiz through some of the highlights just to give you a flavor of what this can do. So we'll first go to adjustments. So this is the very basic stuff. This is like your Instagram filters, so black and white, but there's actually quite a few different ones and they do really make a difference. So you can have a good play around with those. There's all sorts of other filters included. And if you're not happy with those and you fancy having a little try yourself, you can always manually adjust this. So let's increase the tints, so a bit otherworldly. And if you make a complete mess of it like I have, you can uh, right click and say reset and I'll put the picture back to how it was. So under edit is where we've got a lot of the really cool tools that you want to play with. So we'll just have a quick look at face tools. So the first thing it'll do, it'll process the image and detect the face. And I can show you that it's detected the face like so. Now you might want to adjust some of these if they're a little bit out, but you can see it's done a pretty good job of detecting the face. And then you can reshape it. So there you go. So we can drag that in and out. And there's all sorts of tools along the top. You can see shine remover, eye tools, all sorts along there. Under skin tools, you've then got a skin smoother and skin tone where you can also apply foundation, select different type of foundation types. You've also got a shaper, so this can be quite good fun because basically you can drag the face around. Uh, this isn't anyone I know, so apologies if you happen to be this person. So moving down, we've got color effects. This has some standard preset color effects. But the really nice one is color splash, and that's where you can pick out a particular color. Let's use the blue here. And that's the only thing that will stand out. So you can see it works really well there because there's only a couple of items that are really strong and blue. You've got blurring tools. So this is really great if you want to add a different type of depth of field and a bit of bokeh. So you've got a circular tool and you can change that so it's more extreme. You can also change the shape as well. So you can see it's got little stars there, little hearts there, little crosses, or little dots. Focal zooms, so you see there's all sorts. Now if we uh, just move over to this one, we can do a tilt shift, just put that like that, move that across. And again, you can increase or decrease the blurring, so it's totally up to you. You've also got object removal. We'll try and use the content aware removal on this particular picture. So for example, let's say this rock is particularly offensive. We'll just do that. Say apply. It will now try and work out what should be there based on the surroundings. Hopefully it should pick out grass. And there you go. There it is. There it isn't. It's done a really good job on that one actually. Now I'm not quite sure how well it would maybe manage this person. Let's have a little go. Let's apply. Now you see him. Uh, almost, almost is taken. I've probably got a bit too close to the horse's head there. There's also a background removal tool, and this is a smart tool that allows you to select uh, an area that you want to keep. So we'll select lady first just very roughly do it like so you can see it's just fill that in there we go and again you can adjust the brush size to get into the finer details then if we say apply there you go so it's basically done a very rough cutout so I've got it a bit wrong there you would then go back and add some more in like so This time when we say apply, so you've got the arm properly. There's a number of merge settings and the face swap one is particularly good if you want to take a few different photos and merge them into one. So you've got one where everyone's smiling and the multi-exposure is something I've done a separate video of. Go and check that out. I'll uh, 
put a link to that in the card section above. If you are a photographer, you can also create your own watermark and that will allow you to very quickly and easily mark up photos. Uh, so you can add an image, maybe a logo, so copyright that. And uh, this will allow you down the bottom, you see copyright mark. This will allow you to copyright any of these images that you're gonna come up with. So those were the quick and easy tools for novices such as myself. You've then got lay layers that you can have a play with. You can add text and photos together. You've got slideshows that you can uh, go ahead and create. So fading between the various them. So we just drag these on like so. And then when you hit play, it will prepare a slideshow for you of the images you've selected and you can export that if you want to. So that was a very quick overview of Photo Director 8. There's a ton of features I've not covered and they do a good job on the website of giving you extra tutorials and ideas on what you might want to try. As you can see at the top of the website, it normally retails for $134.98 and Cyberlink have some fantastic deals on. I'm doing this recording in March and I've got the March Madness on where it's just $39.99. I will put a link in the description below, so go check out the current pricing. And if you follow me on Twitter, I'll sometimes tweet out when they have these sales because I do think the Cyberlink products are great value for money when you get them at this discounted price. I hope you found this short overview useful. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.